let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right G'day guys, happy Monday today. I've got a half an hour video so we can spend some time together getting our jobs done. So first off, I'm gonna start off by doing some laundry. I like to do a load a day because if I don't, I just find it piles up before you know it. What I like to add into the washing is eucalyptus oil. I find that really helps and here I am putting the child lock on. But what I've just discovered is if my son, who's 14 months, presses the power button on the front, it turns the machine off. And that's exactly what he did here. So I had to go back, set it all up again, and then make sure I shut the laundry door. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clutch. An awesome tip you guys gave me was to use a dishmatic in the shower. So what I do is I put the dishwashing liquid down first and then vinegar. If I put the vinegar first, it just runs out. So do the dishwashing liquid first if you want to try it. Um, and then after every shower, we just wash it down. Because we've got a handheld shower head, what I do is after I've soaked up the glass and the walls, especially the tiles down the bottom, then I just rinse off with the shower head. So that is working so well. I'm finding it so much easier when it comes to cleaning the shower. Out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah Trip, 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 oh Flick the switch, kill the lights so this morning we've got a play date. So what I'm going to do is just give the bathroom a bit of a sparkle, not go too deep and make sure I get to the toilet to give that a bit of a clean. I've just recently bought this antibacterial spray for Method and it's called Sunny Citrus and it smells so good. And it actually, I find it really lasts, like it really freshens up the room. So I'm definitely using that in here this morning because when my friend comes with her kids, it'll still be smelling lovely. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid So today I'm just going to vacuum, I'm not going to mop, I just don't think I've got time to mop as well because I want to prepare a snack and I need to make sure to go in and clean the toilet. Full disclosure here, when she came a couple of weeks ago, um, I didn't have time to get to the toilet. I did the bathroom, but not the toilet. And I was just mortified <laughs> and I apologized to her. And she was lovely about it. She was just like, oh no, it makes me feel really good. Actually, I won't clean my house as much when you come. <laughs> so that was good. It's actually helped our relationship, but I was mortified and I was just like, oh, maybe there's something I could put in the system of the toilet so that it's like 
nearly constantly cleaning whenever it flushes. So I've had a little bit of a look into that. I don't want to put anything in the bowl with kids, but I think maybe if I put something in the system. So I was thinking about trying dishwashing liquid maybe, but I've got to look into it a little bit more. But if you've done it before, I'd love to hear. With me, talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. So just sit with me, talking through the night and through the morning. And then after I do that, of course, I wash my hands. Honestly, I, I find in cleaning videos that people don't show themselves washing their hands, but I can guarantee that we wash our hands so much when we're doing cleaning videos. So my son didn't have his first nap, so that's why he's in the carrier. I need to make some snacks for morning tea. So I'm going to be chopping up some carrots so that we can have carrots, biscuits and hummus. Please don't hate on me regarding this carrier. Look, he's facing inwards because I've got a sharp knife. And otherwise, if he was facing out, he'd try and grab it. It's just what I had to do this morning. Sometimes you just got to do what you can do to get it done. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. did a last minute vacuum before they came and then we had a fantastic play date it's been really good to catch up with other people since isolation restrictions have been lifted slightly so we can't have our whole mums group together so just catching up with a mum and her kids So after they'd gone in the afternoon, then it was time to get the laundry. Our dryer still hasn't arrived yet. Um, I'm super excited for when it comes. So hopefully this will be the last video without a dryer, but you never know. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Still on the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless.
If you're new here, I might as well introduce myself. Hi, I'm Ali. I'm an Aussie mum of two beautiful kids. I love doing play activities with them. So on this channel, it's about the everyday lovely parts of life, cooking, cleaning and kids activities. So I really hope that you'll think about sticking around. If you want to hit that subscribe button and give this a thumbs up. I'm aiming to do a homemaking video every Monday. I'm out of feels, but I guess I'm waiting around for something real. I'm going crazy, like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, then I have to hang up that wet washing. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on an awesome song for you here so that you can get motivated. Still got your pearls hanging by my bedside Still got your lips on paper in a trash line. I never knew love could be so sweet I never knew it would sting I never knew love like this would leave The kids are in bed at the moment, so I'm going to start emptying the dishwasher. Although at times it might appear that I'm going quite slow, I just try not to make a lot of noise because my son's bedroom is just below here. Stop and think, why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing. I feel at the moment the dishwasher is going on a lot, like sometimes even twice a day. I'm not sure if that's because we're home more. I'd love to know what don't you put in the dishwasher? What do you wash by hand? Dave's just finished his 12 hour shift, so he's at the bench eating his dinner while I'm still cleaning up the kitchen.
I start off when cleaning the high chair just using a baby wipe just so I can chuck all the chunky bits out. I've tried using it with a cloth but I just find it gets just gross so I've been using the baby wipes and then after that I'm just spraying with my eucalyptus and water DIY spray and then wiping down with a cloth. While I was doing this, hubby very kindly cleaned the kitchen sinks, so that's why I haven't filmed that. Okay, next I want to share a vegetarian meal with you, which was requested by a lot of you guys. It's vegetarian nachos. First off, here's a little recap if you're new here. We do monthly meal plans. I try to do a new recipe at least once a month, and this is my new recipe for the month. The recipe I'm using is in the description box. It's vegetarian nachos, and I got it from Nicole, the simple housewife. I really like her recipes. I find them easy to do, and it's helping me to make meals from scratch rather than just getting a packet of seasoning. So what I'm going to do this time is tell you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to play a song. So I'm using macadamia oil because I don't know why we've got it in the cupboard. So I'm trying to use that all up so I can get rid of that and make some more space. And then she said to use three different cans of beans. So I just use what we had in the cupboard. So I've got two black beans and the kidney beans and then a can of tomatoes and then all these seasoning. Unfortunately, the onion powder, when I opened it, it was spoiled. So instead I went and used garlic powder. The actual measurements that she said to use was a tablespoon of most things. However, I just modified it for us. With the paprika, I only put a tiny bit in just because I've had a bad experience with paprika in the past with just making it too spicy for the kids. I wanted this to be a meal that everyone could eat, so I just put a tiny little bit in. So then first off, what I did was I heated the oil up, then I put in the beans, I rinsed them first and then popped them in. And then I put in the tomatoes as well as the seasoning. Mix that all together, made sure it was nice and hot. Then I put the corn chips on just on a baking tray, covered completely with the bean mixture and then put some grated tasty cheese on top. Bit of a tip here, if you're not gonna eat it all at once, just do little sections on a plate. I did the whole lot. Obviously the corn chips go soggy, so that's what we had for the next meal. So if I did it again, then I just do a little section for each meal. I do all the bean mix at once and then just on a plate, put the corn chips, bean mix, cheese, and then grill them or put it in the microwave even. You know we met for a reason, but you're trying to deny that we should be together. It's heavy weather, we're heading for tonight. You better take what you can because the time is right now.
Then to serve on the side, I just chopped up some red onion and avocado and we had sour cream as well. So it was delicious. The kids love this. This is definitely a family friendly meal and one I'm going to add to my regular recipes. <laughs> That's not a Pinterest photo I've done there, but there's mine and my daughter's. She wanted to share her meal with you. The next day we got a grocery haul from Woolworths online. As you know, we use cash rewards to get 5% off each time. And I really like using it online because I can put it all into my trolley, work out how much it costs and work out if I've got more money to spend. So today I got a couple of things for future meals because I had the spare money. So let's start off with how much it cost. It cost $137.13. Um, I paid by coupon, so that's for previous ones where they've given me a refund for the wrong weight measurements or they didn't have items in stock. Um, so that was $11.32. So came under the 150 budget that I like to do. All right, I'll start off down here. So we got the Turkish bread. The reason we got this is Dave wants to do his little Vietnamese rolls, but because we get our delivery in the morning, so I choose the six to 9 a.m. slot, it's come at quarter past eight. <laughs> I've noticed that, I think the earliest we've ever got it in that slot is like five to seven once, but we were already up. You can't get fresh things from the bakery in the morning. So that's why we got this. Then he got some cos heart lettuce to use in the Vietnamese rolls. He wanted to get Lebanese cucumber as well, but they had no cucumbers available. I had a comment in one of my previous videos about how annoying that they don't have everything you want. For me personally, I don't feel like it's any different than I go to the shop and they don't have what I want. If it's not in store, it's not in store. It doesn't matter if I order it online or go to the shop and see it. If it's not there, it's just not there. So on one of our afternoon family walks, we might just go via a fruit shop. We've got a heap of bananas. Everyone's eating these and enjoying them. We have it for a morning tea snack. It's going really well. Then I've got a big sweet potato and then i got this broccolini. Um, I think it was $1.90 each. So I grabbed two of them. And what we do is we just serve with oyster sauce and a meat dish. So we've done it with like salmon and sweet potato and this, whereas today I'm gonna to be doing it with these salmon parcels. So I just saw these, they were on special, they were 50% off and I thought, I do like to try new things. Um, I see though, it's only got two parcels in there. So we'll see how that goes with the four of us. Then next I got some fish fillets, strawberries were on special. So I grabbed those as well as um, these blueberries. So with the strawberries, I've been wanting to do these strawberry bars that I actually saw in the Woolies catalog. Um, so hopefully I'll give that a try or we'll just eat it before we get to that. Um, I also grabbed a kiwi fruit. I just grabbed one. I just want our family to try it again. We haven't had kiwi fruits for a while and I think it's really important for kids to just keep their taste buds varied. So I grabbed one of those, heap of mandarins. We all love mandarins at the moment. And then three loaves of bread. Why have I got three? Well, last time I ordered, they didn't have any in um, and even the time before. So we were getting really low of bread. So I just want to stock up the freezer. So I've got some, I went with two of this whole grain, country whole grain. I really like it. For me, it's got the taste even like the expensive ones. It looks really good, it tastes great. But just in case that wasn't in, I just grabbed a plain Woolies whole grain. And as you can see, you can really see the difference in the bread, in the lightness of it. Then I grabbed six liters of milk, which is awesome because we were down to our last cup of tea with milk this morning. Um, brown and wild rice, that, I grabbed that, it was on special. I think it was only like 20 cents off, so I don't even really know if I can classify that as a special. But I do like just having something so simple like that, you just put in the microwave. Um, and brown and wild rice, I really enjoyed that when I had gestational diabetes, so I thought I'd grab one of those. Another block of cheese, we love our cheese. We never wanna run out of cheese. And then I got this kale slaw. My thought with the kale slaw was that I could use it in the tacos, because I've been craving some soft tacos. So I thought I could use that. But I normally cook at the end of the week, so I was thinking about doing it next Wednesday, and it's the 5th of July, whereas today is the 3rd of July. So I might have to rejuggle. Friday is my cooking day, so we might have tacos tonight. Then I grabbed some pork. I grabbed this to put in the freezer actually, because we still had money in my $150 budget. I know later in the month that I'll be doing my pork lettuce cups. So that's why I bought that. Plain flour. Um, I want to make some more Play-Doh, so that's why I grabbed that. Um, Rivitas, Dave likes those for work. My coffee was on special, so I grabbed that. It was 50% off, so I grabbed two. 
um, we got some cranberries to go with our turkey. So we've kind of gone off the ham for lunch. Dave's like, oh, I think turkey's much better for us. So we got turkey, but look at it. It's $28 per kilogram, but it is delicious. Um, and we're just going to have it for toasty. So we just made a bit of a swap there from the ham and cheese toasties to turkey um, and cheese toasties. Then I grabbed some corn flour. This week I made some fake snow for my daughter using corn flour and shaving foam. And she loved it. Like she played with it nonstop for 45 minutes. So grab some more of that. I have also done it with bicarb soda. And I've got a video on my YouTube channel from like years ago three or four years ago doing that um and that worked well but corn flour i think would be cheaper than the bicarb then i got my soft taco kit um just grab this one just just grab this one it was cheap i just didn't want to make my own kind of stuff just going to use that then veggie wise we've got broccoli and cauliflower i really do like these as veggies and it's so easy to grab from the freezer and just put on the stove and put with any meal so if i need to bulk up my salmon parcels meal then i'll add some of that as well then we got some more corn then coming into the center we've got more eggs we always need more eggs we mainly use these eggs for baking if i'm making something or bacon and eggs in the pie maker got this pasta it was on special two dollars off so I grabbed another one of those these spirals these are the Veta spirals so they're low gi it was the exact same price as the home brand ones so that's why i grabbed those got some pitted dates almonds too um 750 grams worth so yeah that's what i've got I was just putting this away and I can see that I miss talking about the butter chicken. So I'm getting this for the pantry. Both kids love butter chicken. So my one-year-old and three-year-old. So that is a meal that we're going to be having every month. The last thing I want to share quickly that I've done, but I'm not really sure what video to put for this, is that I've been cleaning out my computer. So in my download section, I've deleted a lot of files and it has been amazing. My computer is working so much better. I have 100 gigabytes free now where I was full. The reason I'm sharing this is because I wanted to encourage you to have a clean through your computer. I've been trying to do it on my phone, but I've got nowhere near where I need to, but my phone was saying it was full. So I've deleted a few things on there. I just think it's really important that I'm talking about organizing my house, but organizing your computer, organizing your phone on my computer. Now, what I've done is my opening screen. I didn't take a photo of this was completely covered. So it was double covered with images. Whereas now what I've done is I've just got those folders on the top. And when I'm editing a video, the overlays and stuff like that will be here, as you can see. And then once I've uploaded that video and I'm done with it, then I'll just completely delete that and go back to just the folders. So I encourage you to go through your downloads and your desktop on your computer and give it a good clean. Just like if we were organizing bathroom supplies, we would put it in a container and we would label it. Same with the computer, organizing things into categories, putting it in a folder and labeling it. Thanks heaps for watching guys. Have a wonderful week. Bye.